Akila actually is a Swahili, uh, Arabic Swahili word, which means she who reasons or she who is intelligent. Work songs became the kind of song that our ancestors did to make the burden easier. There are people who will sacrifice their peace of mind, their self-respect, their dignity for money. April's not one of those people. April has been a godsend. Her company has been a godsend. She has been a champion. April's a friend as well as, um, you know, a professional ally. My relationship with April and with Akilah Work Songs is extremely positive. You know, I wish that every single working relationship that I had was like this. She's been so many different things for me over the years. She's been my publicist. She's been my social media manager. Uh, she's been my booking agent for gigs. She gets the bigger picture in a way that you're not even perceiving it because that's not your job. We like to consider ourselves a communications agency. We want to communicate powerful, liberating messages to the world. My name is Kevin Powell. I'm an activist and writer and president and co-founder of BK Nation. I had to learn that what we call the struggle, quote unquote, in our communities is actually on a couple different levels. One is the big struggle against systems of oppression and discrimination and marginalization. The second area is the, the challenges that we have to deal with in our community, all the internalized racism and oppression, you know, like us fighting our each other. But the one area that I was leaving out was myself. Where's the self-love at? Where's the self-empowerment at? Where's the healing at? It has to be three levels of, of healing and processing and doing this work as an artist who's conscious and as an activist. Self-love, love for the community, and how am I going to redirect things to challenge systems of oppression? And I believe if you leave out the one for yourself, because you know what happens with a lot of us? We think we're being selfish. And some people around us say it, you know, you know, you gotta sacrifice, brother. You gotta sacrifice, sister. And you're on the airplane, and they say, put your mask on first. That's what you don't wanna be, is a stressed out, burnt out activist, because you just kinda internalize all this other stuff. I think about Malcolm, when he came back from his pilgrimage, when I think about the king at the end of his life, they both were talking about the kind of world that they wanted to see. It's one thing to say what you don't like, but like at some point, some of us gotta start saying, well, here's the world that I wanna see. Uh, April Silver's got to be the most uh, even-killed person I know because for her to tolerate not just me but all these characters who are artists and activists around her for all these years, I'm like, she's amazing. <laughs> she's been so many different things for me over the years. Um, we've been co-collaborators on events um, and organizations. Uh, she's been my publicist. She's been my social media manager. Uh, she's been my booking agent for gigs. Um, my sounding board. She's... Uh, incredibly loyal to people, you know what I mean? Like, if she believes in you, she believes in you like 150,000 percent. It's not no, it's, and, 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 I mean, and she's selfless. Like a lot of us, she's done stuff for other people almost to the detriment of herself and her company, you know? She does so much for so many people. The least we can do is share something, you know, with people like her. Myself, sister, soldier, and other youth activists, we actually, uh, in the late 1980s, created an organization called ENISA, which stood for the National African Youth Student Alliance. I still have the paperwork in here somewhere. And, I mean, we were like, we were all like teens or early 20s at the most. And here we were, bold enough to think we could create a national organization. And we got it supported, we got it funded. And one of the things I'm most proud of, we actually did a lot of organizing work right here in New York City uh, in welfare hotels. We took black and Latino kids out of those welfare hotels and brought them down to North Carolina and we're teaching them everything from hygiene to leadership skills uh, to self-esteem, etc. It was during that time that I realized how important hip-hop was as a curriculum. Like, I remember, like, myself and Rasp Rocker were like the, the writing instructors. And, you know, we going in there trying to teach writing, um, <laughs> You know, here's how you, here's the subject and here's the predicate. You have to conjugate the verb. Them kids was like, whatever. You know what I mean? And something light bulb went off. We were like, wait a minute, hip hop. We hip hop heads, they hip hop heads. And so I remember it was there that we began to write the lyrics on the board, and that was the way we started to teach English. I took that experience and I applied it to New York University Saturday program when I went there a couple years later. 
and I pretty much have used that ever since. Uh, we reenacted the Freedom Rides when I was in college and back in the day where we went down south and re-registered voters were getting knocked off the rolls. Um, in six months, we, myself and some other folks uh, organized something called Katrina on the Ground where we got 700 college students, mostly black students from around the country, from HBCUs, for majority white universities. We brought them to Selma, Alabama for the historical reasons of it. We organized the kids there, we prepared them, and then we shipped them out to New Orleans, to Mobile, and to Biloxi, Mississippi. That was mind-blowing, life-changing. My experience with Killer Work Song is like, you want to get the word out? That's the first thing I remember when she first came with the idea. She might have still been a school teacher, which she's a community-minded person she is. She just started sending out emails for people like, oh, if I need to get something to amplify April and Akil are the people to turn to. To this day, I'm almost like a, <laughs> it's almost funny, I forgot she was in Africa. You know, we had our lunch party, and I hope she, she'll watch this. I was like, I was like, I was like, yo, where's April at? Yo. We need her. You go through like April silver withdrawal, you know what I'm saying? When she's not around, like, dang, she ain't here. But that says how valuable she is to her and the killer art to people like me. Arts and activism, happy 20th anniversary, the killer work song.